Coming up on this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast, we're going to round up the Apple iPhone SDK Roadmap event that took place last week, March the 6th, 2008. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it, because this is the Talking Mac Podcast. Hello, welcome to this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast. Remember, visit our website, TalkingMac.tk, so you can download this week's free Mac download of the week, see our show notes, and subscribe in every sort of way, and hear the extended episode of this podcast. Now, let's talk about Apple News. It's time for this week's Apple News. Apple News for this week consists of... Releasing Time Mach- Time Capsule, Time Capsule was released, and the iPhone Roadmap Event SDK event took place this week, March the sixth, with a lot of cool updates, and we'll tell you all about that later on in this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast. This has been this week's Apple News. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick commercial. We'll come right back here, and we'll talk about our free Mac download of the week and iPhone SDK question and answer. We're going to hit all that. Stay tuned. Hello, this is the Talking Mac Helpline. How may I help you? Hi, yes. I was just wondering if I could download your podcast in MP3 format so I can place it on my iPod or any other MP3 player. I just hope it's possible. I love listening to your podcast. Yes, you can. All you have to do is go to our website, www.talkingmac.tk, and under the player, click the Download This Episode button. So pop over your favorite soda and enjoy the Talking Mac podcast on your call. Download the podcast in its MP3 version today at TalkingMac.tk. Hello, welcome back to this edition of the Talking Mac Podcast. TalkingMac.tk is where you can download this episode, download the free Mac, download of the week, and much, 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 much more. Alright, so let's talk about iPhone SDK, uh, Steve and uh, Phil and uh, some other folks did some uh, question and answer and stuff like that. But let's first talk about what was announced at the event, the special event at the Town Hall at 4, Infinite Infinite Loop, Cupertino, California. Uh, Steve Jobs headed the event with Phil Schiller and Scott Forstall, VP of iPhone Software and VP, VP of Worldwide Product Marketing. So first up, they announced a lot of enterprise features such as push contacts, global address, uh, push calendar, push contacts, push email, uh, Cisco, uh, IPsec, VPN, uh, Microsoft Exchange support, which is a very, very, very big one, uh, WPA2, including enforced security policies, device configuration, remote wipe, and certificates and identities, and all that cool stuff like that. And they license ActiveSync. For the iPhone, and you can now use your Microsoft Exchange account uh, and Exchange server on the iPhone, which is making it. Re- and it's, they even place it above .dot Mac, Yahoo Mail, Gmail, AOL, and other uh, on on the list. And uh, so that's the ex- the big, just like everybody was expecting, Exchange support on the iPhone. Okay, so let's talk about the SDK here. So basically, the SDK will come out this. Actually, I think you can buy. Hold it. We'll get. We'll, let's. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, there's four layers to iPhone OS. There's the Cocoa Touch, Media Core Services, and the Core OS. And uh, the SDK is in a set of APIs. Um, third, third-party software developers can build, build native apps for the iPhone using the SDK. Obviously, right? So to build apps, you use the Core OS, Core Services, Media Layer, and Cocoa Layer to build the iPhone applications and Cocoa Touch Layer. That's the new layer for the uh, for the uh, 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 
iPhone OS sort of touch screen thing. So have a remote debugger and all that cool stuff. You can plug it into the iPhone. You can use the uh, the software. I think it's Xcode that you use, and uh, you can make the software. You can make your software for the iPhone, your applications, and it'll it'll so it'll have a virtual iPhone on your screen, and you can see just exactly how your software is going to look, uh, and stuff like that. It's called the iPhone Sim Simulator. So you know you can build applications and see them on the iPhone in real time. Now they built an application in two days, and they built an application called Touch Effects, uh, and uh, using OpenGL and stuff like that. Built it in two days. It's a great looking application, and they decided what what can they do in two weeks? So they built Touch Fighter, and it's a it's 3D OpenGL and tap anywhere to fire, steer with the acceler accelerometer. It looks like a very, very fun game to play. And uh, EA, Electronic Arts, came up and demoed the Spore game for it. Um, Salesforce um, introduced an app as well for their device. So yeah, they demoed their application with monthly sales stats and cool things like that then AOL came up to the plate and uh, they demo aim aim for the iPhone uh, they built it in five days and it's very incredible what what they can do now that said they told you you know what I'm saying and uh, next was Scott from Sega uh, Sega you know has been a household gaming name for more than 25 years and they built super monkey ball for the iPhone now here's how you're gonna get the apps Apple developed something called the App Store, which will run off the iPhone, and you can buy apps, some of them free. You can wirelessly download it over the air via your cellular network or Wi-Fi. Uh, all the apps, it's just like the iTunes Store, the App Store on the iPhone. Some of them are free. Uh, here's if you want to build your app. Here's what is you know, the dev, the developers get a 70% of the revenue right off the top. Apple keeps 30% to pay for running the app store and there's no credit card fees, no hosting fees, no marketing fees for the hosting the application and developers get 70% monthly. So if you want to develop an application for the iPhone 70% monthly. And uh if you choose to make a free app to put on there, the hosting's free, they don't charge you anything. Uh so they won't distribute malicious apps and other things like that. So after this week's free Mac download of the week, we'll take we'll go through some of the uh some of the cool uh question and answer sessions that they had. So this is the free Mac download of the week. Hello and welcome to the Talking Ass Podcast segment, free Mac download of the week. This time, I eat brains. Ugh. Correct missing information in your iTunes library. I eat brains 1.0.8 is an excellent free application for OS 10 that takes songs in your iTunes library that has incorrect or missing information for title, artist, or album, and then matches it with the correct information maintained in its Music Brains database. It allows you to verify all of the information it retrieves before updating your iTunes library with incorrect or missing information. It's a universal build and it supports Tiger and Leopard. You can download I Eat Brains in the show notes area of this podcast at TalkingMac.tk. This has been the free Mac download of the week for I Eat Brains. Yep, you can go to our website TalkingMac.tk. Under the, under the player, you'll see free Mac download of the week or download of the week or Mac download of the week. Click it. And it'll let you go take you to a place where you can download the application right there. Now we will go over some question and answer and question and answers here, but we're gonna finish it up. Go to talkingmac.tk where you get the full episode here, the question and answer, and all that great stuff. Talkingmac.tk. Let's finalize this baby up here. Uh basically you can get the SDK for ninety nine dollars if you are a developer, if you want to join the developer. Uh if you're already an iPhone developer, uh you can download the SDK. So easy as that. Now the SDK will come to the iTouch or the iPod Touch for a nominal fee. Uh, basically, in June, the iPhone and iPod Touch will get an update, but you have to pay for the iPhone update and not for the iPod Touch update. I'm sorry, you pay. You have to pay for the iPod Touch update, not for the iPhone update. So uh, that'll bring that to the party. Thanks for listening to this episode of Talking Mac Podcast. Visit our website talkingmac.tk if you have questions. Send them our way, Talking Mac. I'm sorry, questions at TalkingMac.tk. Remember, your mind is like a parachute. It will not work unless it's open. The thing outside of the box thinks different. The video of the week coming up on Wednesday is Spotlight Preferences. We should you how to, how to customize Spotlight to your very whim and wish. We'll see you next time right here on the Talking Mac Podcast. Bye, everybody.